Hello, and welcome everyone to another exciting match of Breath of the Wild Bingo Bash. Today's competitors, Senior Tapir and Zinpars. Um, it's going to be a really good one. Today's commentators are myself, Crazy AZ, and Z2W. Hello, Hello there. everyone. Yes. We are going to reveal this board shortly. Mm -hmm. quite, a, quite a bit of hype for this. Uh, there was a clip of Tapir uh, saying he's going to absolutely destroy Zinpars. See if uh see how that goes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> For those of you not familiar more. with our later rounds in this bingo bash tournament, uh this is a custom board that has yeah. been made, <clears throat> as you'll note. Uh every objective on the top left to bottom right diagonal is the same. It for this particular card is the secret club's secret. Um for th these custom boards, you are not allowed to uh, pick that line to be your line. You must choose something else. Um, but by being on this diagonal, it guarantees that every runner has to route through um, this particular quest, um, which we likely would not see otherwise. So sort of a oh. cool setup for uh, these later matches. Yes. Um, so... ZCW and I made all the boards for this tournament together. Yeah. Uh, this one's probably, probably well. yeah, we tested them together as well. Um, this one's probably the hardest one so far yeah. that we've seen. Um, not easy, as you can tell. Yeah. Uh, Secret Club Secret, <laughs> uh, not not a very difficult quest in and of itself. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, you just got to get into Gerudo Town. Mm -hmm. so it's, you know, you need 600 rupees yeah. to get the set of clothes, and then you get in, and then you... Yeah, you know the path. You, you got to know the password. If you don't know the yeah. password, you're in trouble. But you can also definitely. Yeah. Them, so. yeah, um, definitely. Not in any some, situations. I know some people who <laughs> mess up the password like multiple times in a row. <laughs> okay. um, but, I don't know who that could be. You know, yeah. Definitely didn't cost him a square and a lockout. Nope. But yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this board is definitely, I would say, super challenging yeah i think one of the goals we had in mind when we made this board was like do stuff that you wouldn't normally see in a normal bingo so there's some stuff that uh is kind of intimidating and when there's intimidating stuff in a normal bingo you don't you just skip over it but if it's like all intimidating then you see something that you wouldn't normally see so mm -hmm. that's, that's kind of the goal yeah. so we already know what the board looks like because we made it. What do you think? You're crazy. <laughs> uh, the one that stands out to me right now is column five. I'm seeing, um, like five side quests in CAC is pretty easy with all the cocoa cooking ones that you can do. Ruby circlet you can get from the Gerudo Town jeweler, and you know you're gonna have to be there anyways. Um, that does then require you to get quite a few rubies and flint. Um, so yes, that's not... I, it's, I want to say it's 16 ruby or 16 flint to be exact. Um, uh, from the cheat sheet here, I'm seeing six flint, five rubies to do, but that upgrade. you need you need 10 flint oh, we... to get it for free from that quest. Ah, you're right, you're right. Okay, so 16 flint total. Um, and yeah, the cheat sheet is Can it you... so is it two ruby? Is it four rubies or, or five total? It's two rubies for the first upgrade and four rubies for the second upgrade. Okay. Um, because you got to upgrade it twice. So right, yeah, right. okay, that's a little difficult. Getting probably just killing a bunch of taluses and hoping for good drops. Um. Yeah. The other things didn't seem that scary on that row though. So and I seeing that synergy between you know having to go to Gerudo. Yeah. Hmm. We might see them do the shrine rows. Um. You know, 16 shrines, the four from Plateau count, so it's really only 12 shrines, but eight of them have to be shrine quests. But there are a lot of shrine quests. Um, That's true. Yeah, I guess row three uh, doesn't look that bad because, I mean, yeah, doing 16 shrines, which is really only 12 more because you already have the four on Plateau, and then, you know, two thirds of them have to be shrine quests. But then Rubber Helm oh. and uh, the Cac side quests again are really easy. Yeah. What would be um, the uh, the fifth side quest that you would do in, in CAC? Uh, Obviously, you'd probably do the four Cocos, and then which one? Um, uh, Like, playtime with Kotla? <laughs> Go yeah. play tag? 
Yeah, yeah. I was Rain thinking, I'm not sure which one's faster, Playtime with Kala or Arrows of Burning Heat. But I don't yeah. know the exact... Yeah, the uh, if there's any, like, talk to Emperor requirements for, for like, that one or yeah. not. I mean... Well, even is the last Coco meet like if, if you have to go of your way for the last Coco one, you could even. The last Coco that. is uh, the third it's Coco is me. The last one is Honey. honey. Yeah, oh, you no, can just get on the bad. You can get that on Plateau. So yeah, yeah not worth yeah. dropping that. You can get everything on Plateau and in Kakariko for Cocos. So it's like mm -hmm. a pretty good one. But mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you could even just go for three, and then and I guess it's kind of scary to go for meat anywhere else other than Plat. Like oh, I wouldn't no. risk that. There's risk one goat. It. There's one goat outside of the pack that treats me well. He's oh, always there always. when I do. <laughs> oh god, always <laughs> there to uh Oh, I remember seeing a clip of uh or Chris doing the wind bombs and then just getting absolutely destroyed by the goat. So Dude, yeah. Goats <laughs> and the birds and Elden, they're they're <laughs> they're all just a, like a menace to society. <laughs> I'll never forget that bird in Elden that just destroyed me with one of my fairies. Knocked me off a cliff. I was so mad. I have a clip of that. But Still anyway. For the single goal uh, in the finals. It's just going to be kill every single bird you see ever. <laughs> um, one difference uh, for semifinals is, is we're giving the players 10 minutes of routing time because it's a much much more difficult to decide what row you're going to do in these kind of difficult custom made boards because they're intended to yep. make uh, all the rows seem to be roughly the same length yeah uh, yeah some obviously and... more difficult than others but theoretically they're all really similar in length hopefully mm -hmm. um and just as mules mentioned this is the semi-finals uh which means both of these runners are in the top four who uh Whoever wins this match will go on to face Teikage, who was the winner of our first semifinal match yesterday in the grand finals, which out. will be a lockout. A lockout, uh, yes. Than a single line. Custom made lockout. Custom made. <laughs> it's going to be a fun one. Oh, yeah. We're going to test that tonight. So uh, we'll let you know if it's like four hours long. Or <laughs> <if> it's... <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of well, whatever we whatever we finish, we'll just subtract an hour off because <laughs> we know that some cars today and to are all way better than us. So yeah, I uh, uh, oh sorry. Oh, go ahead. Uh, I kind of forgot what I was gonna say. That's oh okay. My advice uh, for like choosing a line because I think in a lot of normal like in a lot of like non-custom made ones you kind of just want to get whatever like you want to like get rid of all the really bad goals but in this one because it's like kind of all balanced there may be like one or two rows that are like really bad because you know you can't make everything balanced all the time mm -hmm. but yeah other than that i would say it's not really about like what's kind of the best line it's what you're most comfortable with or, like what you think you could do the fastest yeah. Rather than what is actually the fastest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's a good yeah. point. Yeah. Because like, also... if you're mm -hmm. really, really good at Divine Beast main quests, like you know, both these players are familiar with Divine Beast. They could mm -hmm. see, you know, row one or sorry, column one or row two, and think, you know, I can do Meadow and Naboris pretty quick. Like, I might be able to knock out, you know, yeah, one of those lines, and then I only have to go to like a call to pick up one one more hard one, and the rest are pretty free. Like Electro Meal is free. Um, Apple yeah. Pie. Talk to Kilton's really annoying. That's entirely on the other yeah. side of the map. But so is yeah, so is Infinite really Vortex weird. though. Yeah, so, yeah. But it's kind of that sort of disqualifying. Like the two Divine Beast main quest mm -hmm. is such an investment that yeah, yeah even yeah. though you know how to do it, I think having to then also like if everything were on that side, I could see it, but. Having to go to yeah, a call afterwards, I don't really see. That's yeah. kind of what. That's kind of one of the goals we had was just like make people do stuff that they aren't as familiar with because it's cooler to watch that way. So yeah. Mm -hmm. so. And we are about to start here. Got thirty seconds left on the routing time. Oh. Uh yes, Shadow Hunter. It is easy, but 
I mean, it's like... I it mean, forces you to go to Gerudo, yeah. which is, you know, a place I think these runners would otherwise be avoiding in bingo. Um, yeah, yeah. it's not the most friendly place to traverse. So, I mean, hey. you might you might think Secret Club Secret is easy, but if you look at the rush of the board, it's it's not. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Divine Beast main quest. I mean, two star flame breaker or ruby yeah. circuit, you know, you eight shrine quests. Know. Like those are intimidating mm -hmm. goals, I'd say. I mean, we're up. Yeah. Oh, y'all. Yeah. Good both are runners, runners, of course, picking up their the soldier's bow. bow. Yes, they get oh, their they soldier's bow. They both go for arrows first. I'm a big proponent of arrows oh. first. Um, yeah, what would the arrow. rationale be by not going arrows first be? Um, get the heart. The arrows. The heart. Yeah, I mean, it's it's mostly preference, but I think getting the arrow first. I'll switch to arrows first as well. I, I could time it, but I, I'll just <laughs> go with it. It's faster. Um, <laughs> Tapir gets his heart. Zenpar is not to. I know Zen yeah, likes going to skip for the it. heart. Um, I think skipping the heart is pretty handy if you're going to Kak, because then you get your heart in Kak, and then not only is that slightly faster, it heals you as well. Yeah. So like, if you get there with the, like a quarter heart, it'll heal you for like two and a half hearts, which is pretty nice. And if but, like food is, food is kind of monker in a bingo. Mm -hmm. I've I've uh. I flip back and forth. I used to be like get the heart, you know, right away kind of guy, but mm -hmm. I've now come, come around to the idea of it's just completely dependent on. Oh yeah. Um, oh, we just see Flint pick up by Zin. Yeah. That could definitely oh, suggest Ruby column five. Sacklet? Yeah. Oh god, yeah. that is. Okay. Oh, going right for the palace too. I think it's oh. definitely <laughs> Ruby oh. Circle. <laughs> Oh wait, no, no, no! He's he's waiting. He doesn't have a, a hammer. He doesn't so. have a hammer, so that would be a lot we'll to try and pick up. There okay, is... he's getting honey. It's I, honey. I mean, I'm, yeah. I think it's safe to assume that he's already going for column five. Yeah, that, just from that. those are some pretty big indicators. Flint yeah. and honey definitely yeah. suggest <laughs> both going for the five side quests in Kakariko and the ruby circlet. That's the meat. And he already got his meat too. Wow, he is <laughs> very much on his way. Yeah, it's either um, that or he's. He's doing, four. Yeah, he could do row yeah, three. He might have just got the flint because, you know, it's never bad to have flint if you want to make a fire set time of day and you don't want to waste a fire arrow. Yeah. Um, and it's not grassy on the ground because you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sort of grass because straws that I'm pretty sure he's picking up the flint on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> Waiting for Iris to load in. Resident sleeper. Yeah. <laughs> I think if he doesn't want to like go out of his way to get one of the hammers on plateau, there if he's making his way to Kakariko, which he would be for the side oh, quest, yeah. um, there's a hammer yeah. right on top of the hill where you land after the BTB, and also a talus down there that uh, mm -hmm. can fight. Yeah, and a rail. The rail is really nice. Curious that here, is... did our runners agree to DLC? Because of course there is a oh. DLC ruby available to them. If they <laughs> that did. is a great point. Oh. Oh, they did, yes. So they agreed to using DLC, so we will see I them see. use it. Excellent. That is a that is a ruby that you do not have to try and roll RNG to get. Yep. Also wonder if um you know, you're gonna be going over to Gerudo. There's two guaranteed rubies in the Yiga hideout. That uh, could Ooh, be worth going that for. That is, yeah, I did. Yeah, I forgot that about this. That's actually really smart mm -hmm. because yeah, you don't need to actually do anything related to to Gerudo, like in terms of like Nabora's mm -hmm. progression or anything. But those rubies still spawn in regardless, right? Yeah. Like they're always there. Well, there's one in the chest in the like end room that you'd clip into, but mm -hmm. the other one is farther in, and I think yeah, there will Mugga. still be Yiga walking around until you mm -hmm. fight Koga. So yes. getting that second one inside um, um, would be pretty scary. It's a little scary. So but... if you don't ever start, if you don't talk to Riju and start the, oh. the Yiga clan like kind of quest change, I don't think there's any y Yiga in there. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty I'm sure if you don't do there are? Sure. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I've... I could have sworn that it was empty if you wanted oh, an early. Zin doing a push BTB? Yes, yeah, Zin's doing a push BTB here. Well, I already like, like this push BTB. Tapir is also setting up for BTB off Temple of oh. Time. 
Looks it. Yep. Tapir does not look like he's doing a traditional one though. Where is he headed? He's looking looking towards Farron, maybe? Yeah. yeah. I think he's oh, oh. wow. Farron. Yeah, really nice. Uh, like so like monkey. <laughs> Farron could suggest maybe row three, rubber helm, plus you can get the um Kukanada shrine quest pretty easily oh, there. Yep. But it um, could be going for a column four as well. Oh. I guess we'll see. Yes. It's, oh, gonna, yeah, be right hard to, it's gonna be hard to say actually right away because well, I guess if he gets the rubber helm right away, we'll know. Mm -hmm. um, but even that, no, I would still get the rubber helm, even if you're trying to pay three great fairies. That's free 600 rupees. Oh, yeah, uh, good, rupees. Point. yeah. good so point. You're, I think you're right that uh, row three and column four would both be very much on the table with this move. Mm -hmm. Oh, no way. He bumped into that cliff. I thought he was just going <laughs> to slide past it. That's so unlucky. Here, we'll see. Zin making his way straight to CAC. Not, oh, wait. Oh, no. Reconsider is going to get that hammer. <laughs> Yeah. Or like, at least the apples. There's a really good chance of that Talus giving you a rupee. Like it's a Yep, goes for the hammer. Yeah. <laughs> it's a really good hammer. Like it. Well. Surprised he didn't pick up that wood. It doesn't seem like he's going for the talus right away. No, I oh. guess maybe he's uh Yeah. He he know. probably oh. he probably has a route in mind in terms of uh which one he wants to go for. Like which ones he wants to go for later, but he just needs the hammer eventually. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. I mean, yeah, the hammer was only a slight detour. Yeah, really good yeah. super though to get into CAC. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, man, to peer. Didn't yeah, have a super are... bomb right away. That was a little scary. <laughs> I wasn't sure. Right, that so here's to peer. He's gonna go get the get the rubber helm. But like we said, he could either be having that for the objective. Oh. It is a pretty trivial side quest. Um, yeah. Then, you know, the rewards are, are great. So. I mean, it's a, it's a goal. He does mark so... it off. So the thing is, is if he sells it, he would unmark it. He would right? unmark it. I mean, wouldn't don't the rules require him to mark it even if his intention were to sell yes. it later yeah they do but i don't think he'll sell it i feel like he's probably pretty committed to row three if i had to guess mm -hmm. wait he's working out wait there's uh, a lot of shrines oh. here i mean there is a lot of shrines oh, well, here wait oh. then is he planning to do column one he Maybe. might just be doing that for money well know. rubber yeah Can call we... him I think, oh, column one, column. Yeah. I think he's doing column one. Yeah. I don't know though. There's a lot like there's Song of Storms is like such an easy shrine quest, and he was like not far mm. from there. So yeah. that that makes me yeah. think that he's not doing row three anymore. I mean, I don't blame him. If he knows Divine Beasts, go do it. Mm hmm. Yeah. I don't know. This could be the play. I, I think it maybe. I mean, Zin is likely going to end up rolling for some RNG if he's going for all these rubies. So. Uh, That's you know, true. Going for something that you just know is down purely to your movement and execution could could be the play here. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, this is heating up. <laughs> Zimfire is doing his cocoa cooking side quests. Yep. Um, going to Colosseum. Wow. Gonna see a Colosseum BTP. Our no, you just... dropping a nice five yeah. subs. Shout Thank out. You, dude. Oh. Thank you, Jason. That's oh, awesome. Fuck. Oh, we are going to see a Colossum VTV. Yeah, what is this? I've never seen this in my life. This does <laughs> suggest to me that he's going to Rito. I yeah. think this is, uh, it is a this VTV, VTV that uh, Tapir has been... Uh, I've seen him working on multiple times for like all dungeons and such. Oh, I don't think oh, he wanted no. to drop Oh, I don't, no, I don't think no. he wanted to fall there either. Oh. He... Did he save? Oh, he, oh, he got an auto save. Okay, he's yeah. good. He got an auto save at the Coliseum. Yeah. Makes sense. I believe it's like slightly faster. It's like a couple and seconds. And Zin is opting than... here to go play tag with uh, Kotla. So oh. that will be his fifth CAC side quest. Didn't you... run over the child? You can uh, you can only do this once, right? Yeah. Like the hide and seek and the tag, like it's only one side quest total? Yes. Okay. Yeah. You have to do playtime with Kotla, and you get to choose how to play. Okay. 
Zin eating the speed food that was given to him by Coco. Normally, that's not allowed in, in your regular game of bingo, but it is allowed in this tournament because um, what he has. You know, normally you're not supposed <laughs> to be able to eat Coco cooking side quest stuff because it counts as like an item that you achieved and you have to use it to keep it to like prove that you marked the goal off. But in this tournament, it's a quest, and we know you completed the quest by the adventure log, so you are allowed to eat those foods in this tournament. That's such uh, a weird rule, but let's not open that can of worms here. Yeah, weird rule yeah, for, a... for the tournament or weird rule rule for regular we're for bingo? normal. You, you've I got agree. a quest yeah. log that says that you finished the quest. That's that's why I, I have a different set of rules for this tournament. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever. Uh, we'll, we'll yeah, that's what that. I, yeah. <laughs> it's also the rules can be a little ambiguous for regular bingo. But yeah. anyway. Um so Tapir is setting up his BTB again. That looks pretty good. Zen oh. picking up some safety fairies as well as uh Endura carrots. Oh that's so oh. unfortunate. <laughs> it was he was just low enough to hit that 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 wall basically he didn't bounce off the ground beforehand he i think he went into bullet time just like a little too late there that's so that's just so unfortunate yeah zin what are you going uh uh going probably towards yeah he's headed towards kaiwan right now so he might stop by to get some food and then he's probably gonna go up to namaka oz um to get the one you fire can... one ice one electric yeah that makes sense there's plenty of elemental stuff going there yeah um yeah so maybe kaiwan like namaka oz area and then to elden to do those shrines um yeah before then making his way back over to gerudo gerudo words it's pure catching all the dead angles yeah that is yeah. Feels like once you start, you can't stop getting them. Yeah, that very exactly true. Snowball it. <laughs> no a lot. Um, you fail a wind bomb once, and then it's suddenly like, "Wow, this one's just broken." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty good example of a setup is expiring in this game. Yeah. in activating Kaiwan after raiding that forest. Not going to bother cooking any of the food that he picked up. Um, but yeah. It's a bit Is interesting it... that he doesn't. He decides not to because he's going to be going into Elden. And having yeah. stamina food and even gold hearts can be pretty nice when you're going into Elden. I assume he's got lots of money, right? He's got that Topaz, yeah. which is more than enough to uh, buy fireproof elixirs at the stable, but still, like it's nice mm. having stamina food in Elden. <laughs> yeah. Especially with like the uh, fact that he didn't get the heart, so I mean, yeah, that's a good point. This kind of monker, but yeah, I think I hope he knows oh. what he's doing. I mean, I think we've got to trust that he knows what he's doing more than yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. But definitely, I think a, a risky play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's very to funny play? to me also that. Uh, you know, I, I've noticed this in in like watching you know higher level uh, runners do AMQ and stuff that I've been learning that they they still go through the routing of going and picking up specifically the Endura shrooms, even if they are not planning to actually uh you cook them. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's I've like just still too. muscle memory to still yeah. pick up the Endura, even though they're nothing more than a one heart refill. If you uh, don't cook them Ooh, yeah. this beat to be I mean, really given to pure trouble it is i think he's he's yeah. opting to just kind of give it up and move move on Respect. there's kind of a, a yeah. oh wait maybe not he is going for another reload i do think uh with the uh the endurance room thing they can be kind of like op especially with because they sell for 30 each oh wow, and then they also cool. sell for 50 if you cook them, and they're worth two hearts. And so Zin if you cook them, they're worth four. Zin fighting this, uh, like, electric wizrobe. That's, uh, these ones are trickier than the fire or ice, because they don't have an yeah. elemental, you know, weakness. Yeah. They'll just one-shot them. But that was uh, really using smart, the bomb though. arrows like there the helps yeah. him finish that off. Picking up the bomb arrows in that chest for rod. a really good play. I, I believe he's now just missing a fire weapon. 
Yeah, and the so. fire was robe is I think right next to the shrine or in the, the uh, tree. That's still a nice one. Somewhere. No, I think there's one of each here. You already killed me. Yeah, there's one of each. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, there, there it is. Yeah. No, I just mean the one next to the shrine is, is oh, uh, gotcha. ice. I see. All right. Yeah. This gets the. Uh, Alrighty. Gets. Meteor Rod. Meteor Rod. But those are the two easiest rows, or two easiest squares on the row he's going for. This is true. Um, he has not done any of the actually challenging ones yet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess secret close secret is easy, but that's in every row, so. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, certain people who have tested the board, not going to mention any names, have a struggle to find Flint. Yeah, find and... Flint. Sucks. <laughs> oh, no, I, uh, I will say. Oh. Um, oh yeah, I'm gonna watch Stapir do this because he's running really low on this ice timer now. Yeah, it's Mwaka. He's Russian. I think he got oh. it. Oh, he got Ooh. it, yeah. There Ooh. we go. Nice, sorry. So like... Off on his yeah. way to Rito now. Um, I will say, Zimpars did just pass up like six, at least six, uh, or deposits right at Namaka Oz. Yeah. Um, oh, true. So he seems to be pretty committed to just hunting taluses, judging by the fact that he hasn't really stopped to hit too many ore deposits. I think he did like one like near CAC, but. Some um, monk. Uh... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I really cannot understate how difficult <laughs> getting 16 flint is. <laughs> it's a lot of <laughs> like, You think like, oh man, six rubies. That's a lot of rubies. But no, like 16 flint is a lot of flint. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> You need to get lucky, like a lot, because you can six... break you can break like three three ore deposits and get like one flint. Yeah, it's Flint really likes to be like, uh, no, no thanks, I'm not gonna show up today when you want it. So uh, now he's stopping at ore oh. deposits. Maybe he just really yeah. wasn't aware of the ones at Namakaz. Yeah. Wow, that's three a lot of topaz. topaz. <laughs> <laughs> See, he just he didn't even hit those other two though. Like those yeah. other two had a really good chance. Flint. Yeah. Yeah. Flint is the scary um, one. I mean, okay, do you need to do the side quest in order to buy yeah. from the shop? Uh wait, yeah, yeah, you do. I think you do, you yeah. Do. yeah. Okay. You do. And so then on top of that, 16 Flint to do it. Yeah. I really hope he knows what he's doing. Uh, the game if you get to doesn't... buy from the shop, it's only five hundred and three rubies. Of course, I don't know. Three rubies for mm. ten flint. The exchange rate on that might be pretty <laughs> close, actually. Or <laughs> I don't think there. There's not anywhere you can buy flint though that I know no. of. It might be Tarrytown, but that's about it. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, it, yes. I mean... Well, let's do Tarrytown to buy <laughs> our gems. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. Seems like a pretty good strat, but just doing the shrine for the purposes of the heal. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Uh, that was only a one and a half heart heal. Wait, no, this was this is an Elden Shrine though. Oh, it's an Elden Shrine. Oh, of course, yeah. of course. All right, yeah, that makes sense. To be going for the uh, super launch, it's a mm -hmm. pretty good super launch. Oh, will he drop down? Okay, drops uh, down. He fairies. will. Is he gonna go pay a great fairy? No, he's just trying to get these luminous stones. I guess. Yeah, not a bad idea. I think he just needs a little bit of money for. Uh... Oh, and fairies, of course, are always nice yeah. to have in a bingo. Yeah. Like, you know, it wasn't... It wasn't, like, the greatest super ever, so... That was a, a sick fairy yoink, though. That's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very impressive. Yo, uh, Zin's the... going by the shrine. Oh, Zin gonna go buy um, some elixirs. That makes sense. Yep. Three? Taking three. all three for 150. That'll get him like 18 minutes of resist or something? Or yeah. What's the so length well, on these? I want to say it's like 630. Seven. Seven. Yeah. yeah. Six, seven. On nurse, kind of. But yeah, that sounds about right. I was in cooking his food here. I think you realize he did. Uh, yeah. Don't know why he didn't food. do that at Kaiwan, but. But yeah. Getting it at this point. I do think that is important. 
Noman pointed out that Zin might be routing in an Igneo Talus or the Flints. That's oh. a very, I, I think that's a very likely possibility. I think he's really mm -hmm. planning on getting most of his Flint from Taluses. Do, uh, do Taluses, no. do Igneo Taluses specifically have higher Flint drop rates? I don't really know my, uh, my Talus loot tables very well. Drop tables. I don't know either. It does. That's really nice to know. I didn't know that. All right. Tapir, reach Dorito Village now. Cool. Gonna start his first Divine Beast main quest. Yeah. Not often you see Divine Beasts in a bingo, especially one line. So, yeah. Well, yeah. Two. I mean, <laughs> there's no way he's doing just this one. I don't think anything yeah. on this board would suggest he's just doing one, so. Yeah. Never know when you need Gales. <laughs> so this is his second Elden Shrine for Zinfars, right? Uh, yes, yes, I believe so. We will have to see him go pretty deep into Elden. He'll have to go probably basically all the way to Goron City to get his last one, if I had to imagine. There's one yeah. more here, so this will be his third. And then his next three will basically all be within the the fire area. Mm-hmm. This year. Getting everything but Topaz. I mean, rubies. Perfect example of the uh, infamous oh, Fingo RNG. It is kind of nuts how many Topazes he's gotten already. <laughs> mm -hmm. If only it was Topaz earrings. Yeah, right. So wait, how many how many rubies does he have? Does he just have the one? Just I think he only two. has the one. Wow. Oh, yeah. So he's gonna get another five more. Oof. Yeah, oh, I mean, oh, I, I'm gosh. curious to see if he opts to do the Yiga uh, Clan, the Yiga Clan hideout. Um, I would imagine he would. He's got to know about those rubies. Too. Yeah, I mean, this you you get him an AD rate right, if you're short. Yeah. I think that's the common uh, backup. It's like Luminous Stones mm -hmm. are the ones in the Yuga Clan hideout. But again, yeah. he... Well, it would just be curious <laughs> whether... I guess it's easy enough if you were going to get there. Given that you need the Gerudo clothes anyways, you just go talk to Riju. Do you have to bother fighting mm -hmm. Koga? I don't know. It's... it's... No. No. I think you just... Uh, you don't I don't even... know whether the play is with to the... go in there while it's swarming with them or not. I mean, it's like... A lot easier than you might think to just run around because if you're trying to run around and kill them all which is i think what everyone tried to do in the casual playthrough you're kind of screwed oh if I you're trying to dodge him killing them i mean if you have fairies right <laughs> i mean you can take a hit mm. if you, he's got cold heart food too right he just cooks so you could probably hit you probably has one shot protection so oh uh, yeah. i think it's just, one just shot don't try and be stealth and just tank everything while you grab the one ruby that's in <laughs> in the danger in. zone Get some rubies. Mm -hmm. We get out. Quick job. <laughs> I think the uh, the 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 most dangerous part is the the actual Yiga people, which like they one shot you, but they teleport and then they take like ten years to charge up their attacks. So if you're just running, they're not much of a threat. And then it's just the boat people, which do, which do like no damage. So he should sure. be fine. Tapir just cooked cold food, but he has three bananas. Why didn't he cook his bananas for the attack up for? Oh, if he's, I think he's probably two. just. I mean, he's following. It's true, uh, but maybe he just wants to save those for. Um... Yeah. You, so your first divine beast that you do, uh, the blight has only nine hundred health, like pretty easy to kill. Oh. But he's probably just following some like all dungeons routing that he knows pretty well. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I feel like there's no reason not to cook that food, right? Because he's gonna get more bananas from the Yuga Clan hot out if he plans on doing Naboris. Mm -hmm. So you're right. Yeah. I think it's more autopilot than yeah, uh, than some be. conscious decision. It's not like still yeah. cook them then. Yeah. If oh, I he needs the cold food or he'll die, right? Because yeah. he'll still right. be cold he, when fighting and fighting. Yeah. Uh, and he'll he be probably be going hard. back via like Katakar. Um, good point, good point, good point. Which is okay. cold, so... That makes sense, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So, I don't think three bananas gives you, like, the full thing. It gives uh, you, I think it gives you two. Yeah, which, you need four bananas four. to get the full 
three yeah. attack up. So, understandable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. No, he's uh, have... with with the four sun shrooms. You can get a ten minute timer that'll last you all through meadow and uh, getting through the cold section on your way to Gerudo. Oh, Something oh, yeah. we do in AMQ. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if all dungeons does a very similar thing. Yeah, I think it does. The uh... oh, if you had two on the other hand, then it would be a different story. But. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. You could just, if you had two, you could just eat one right at the start of the fight and then eat another right after, basically. The um, attack up? Oh. To pure yeah. control. <laughs> uh, cheeky bit. That mid is so hard with the wind. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's kind of precise, but you can super it. It's kind of cool. Um, <laughs> nice. So. See Zin trying to do Karim here. This is this will be his fourth try once he finishes it. Um, yeah, and then there's. um. I want to say Shea Mosa is the one oh, right wow. at Grand City. Ooh, that ricochet. Not so nice. Yeah, that's unlucky. Um, and then there's Again, the one right trying. down below um, where you would start the Yanobo escort. So mm-hmm. that'll be his six, probably. Yeah, um, I mean, just don't do like Greedy Hill and like the really far out ones. Like, Ooh, yeah. he loses a fairy on that anyways. Ooh. That's a shame. That is a shame. Well, the bad bounce. I guess. It's better than dying, so... True. True. I true, true. Prepare. Getting all the cannon shots, which is pretty cool to see. Mm-hmm. So that's nice. Can be a little hard to do, but yeah. There's some nice visual cues. Um, mm-hmm, yeah. Highly recommend, and if any runners here who have been struggling with those, go check out the pins in the Breath of the Wild Discord All Dungeons channel. There's some really nice visual cues for those shots that I found amazing. And I, so, I'm surprised that not everyone knows about them. Zin doesn't have um, uh, oh, yeah. a, a, a metal a metal bow or shield, so he is gonna have to unequip. Oh, Igneo uh, Talus to, to avoid his uh, his stuff from burning. I think. Oh, I do believe if you just take your bow out and like pull it back in, it'll reset the timer. True. So that's something you can do. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's like two button presses and like. Gets a nice double swing there. Falls yeah, off. Gets about half the health of the Talus. I don't know if how long the uh, the ice arrow is going to last him. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it shouldn't be that bad. There, but he's he got two more, one. though. Yeah, so I think he'll be good. He might be able to just finish him off right here. Ooh. Oh, no. He doesn't oh. get the clamor. Oh, no. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, this is a little scary. <laughs> yeah. He's... uh. Okay, good. I was gonna say, after a certain amount nice. of time, the, the nice talent will knock you off if you don't hit him fast enough. But that was close. Oh, oh, going for uh, the ESC. Then he's gonna go over and hit these oars. Hey, double flint. Nice. Yeah. That's some good RNG. Oh, oh my! Ruby. And that just dropped three more flint. And was that also a ruby? Yeah, it was. So okay, so that was that's like almost half his flint. Or no, actually no, like a third mm-hmm. of his flints, mm-hmm. like right there. Um, I think he's a little over a third of the way. I want to say he has six at least right now. Lots rock of rock salt. salt. That's unlucky. <laughs> Pierre going for this, for this ESC in the uh, trouble. meadow. Yeah, it's, gives up on it's it. a hard ESC. Especially with the, uh, with the with the little, I don't know what they're called. I'll just call it a gremlin. But with the gremlins chasing you around, it's, it's monker. <laughs> These are the stall heads. <laughs> I like yeah, gremlins. Just call them gremlins. Just gremlins. I'm gonna start calling them gremlins. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what they are anyway. Mm-hmm. Nominal right? Oh, oh my! <laughs> oh, the... <laughs> getting messed up by the Octorok there. Yep. So Tobi is making his way through Meadow. Mm-hmm. Meadow's kind of chill. Until it's okay, I, I I should have like shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Zimbar is oh, opting God. to blow up those rocks as opposed to just hitting them with his hammer, kind of spread yeah. them out. Everywhere. <laughs> um, fun facts: I learned this from ZTW. You can 
jump into those little pools of uh, hot water to uh, delay your healed. fire timer and get healed. Yeah, and those the hot springs will actually heal you. Oh wait, did you learn that from me? I learned it from you, but I knew I knew oh. they healed you from like my casual playthrough, but I didn't know that they uh, slowed down the uh, the burn timer basically or reset it. Oh wow, that's cool! I didn't know that. You did it. Wait, what? <laughs> <I'm pretty sure. laughs> So he's got two rubies. I missed how much flint he had there. Uh, well, I'm sure we'll see again at some point. He's got at um, least six. At least. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Don't here's another Igneo Talus. He only... Oh, he has a blizzard rod. Oh. That's <laughs> excellent. That from the beginning, huh? <laughs> yeah, because the I ice arrows realized. are... They can be pretty nice for... Uh... Wait. <laughs> that isn't working as well as the ice arrows. Okay, now it is. That was weird. Yeah, I guess he just only got the arm or something with his angle there. already see some flint Ooh, flying off. his hammer just oh. broke. Oh, that's, I don't think that's, he was that's expecting that's bad. That. Yeah, he's that's got bomb arrow, fire. I think, still. So he really oh, no, should no. be... It's an Elden. Oh. This is Elden. Oh. You don't, oh, yeah, you don't you can't use bomb arrows. Never mind. Use my <laughs> bomb arrows and Elden. <laughs> but he still has arrows. I think arrows are probably going to do more damage than an yeah. axe. An axe is pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no! Oh my God! Oh, Zin, oh no! <laughs> no! Well, Mules. I can't blame him because I would have done this. <laughs> that was your. That's on you. That's not on me. I saw the map too. But he didn't. Oh, he didn't game oh. over. He just waited out. Yeah. So he didn't. It's. It could have been worse. Was, he did lose yeah, his fairies. That, that's probably all his fairies at this yeah. point. Yeah, yeah, that, that acts oh, good anything, sir. Yeah. That's, that's not very bad at things, no. Yeah, you gotta just switch to arrows and start bullet timing. Yeah. I think, uh, that was oh, that's not wide. doing much either. That's pretty bad. Yeah, oh he no. He badly needs another hammer. <laughs> oh god. That's oh, probably why. I don't dude. know, is there a way for him? He, he might almost call a reload at point, and uh, At this point, no, at this point hammer. he's pretty committed. He can finish it off with arrows. It'll just take a second. Right. But... He needs to get, if he doesn't get all of his flint here, he yeah, needs he... to get another one. Yeah, this is, this is, this is kind of more sad. Oh, 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 no. The really resources scary. sunk into this. <sighs> As Tapir finishes up his first uh, blight. Okay, we all seen a reload. Okay, yeah, he is bailing. Wow. Probably going to really... find himself another hammer or stone smasher yeah. or something on the map before going and taking this guy on. That's why he was bombing the, the, um, or to pockets. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he oh, knew that yeah. his uh, his durability was getting suspect. That makes sense. Man, that's surprising. Wait, wow, that's just like when I think of hammers, I just think they last forever. But I guess mm -hmm. when you're yeah. like you are doing a lot of hits. There's a lot of durability. Oh, yep. Oh, yep. So what? there, easy right second there? hammer. Oh, yeah. that's I mean, you're in a mine. Oh, this is right. like South Goron oh. Mine or something. I'm not yeah. surprised. That is <laughs> really. Good though he must have just looked at the object map that was perfect oh no that is like all shrines knowledge oh is it I know. yeah because it's next oh. to the uh it's like right next to the brother's roast like that's pretty much where it is gotcha so i wouldn't be surprised if he like you know ran past it and be like oh yo there's a hammer that's that's kind of cool but yeah and given how close that hammer was doing this reset probably yeah. worth it yeah <laughs> you know get back all yeah. the fairies that he <laughs> lost previously for sure one bomb arrow smarter than he was before <laughs> i think to pair i was paying attention to zin i kind of forgot what to pair but i think he's he's done with meadow yeah yeah he's just he just finished meadow he's warping somewhere oh. um i'm curious yeah, it's probably just if he boys. uh Probably to go do Naboris. Where's he going to? Ah, yeah. uh, he got Tenekosa. Yeah. yeah, so he's yeah, following yeah. an all dungeons route. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's probably your best bet. And bingo. Mm -hmm. Does he have? He doesn't have any stamp food, right? To appear. Uh, uh, I don't know that he I mean, does. This BTB, mm, you, don't, you don't necessarily you don't need technically it, need it, but uh, it is convenience <laughs> because I, this BTB, you can run out of stam. I think uh, there's a pretty nice double wind bomb backup. Okay. Um, yeah. 
and to Pierre, you know, one of the nice things about doing those divine beasts is he's actually pretty set on the um uh health side of things now. Hmm. Because yeah. yeah. he has an additional heart. Oh my gosh, the choo choo oh, just no. deciding to That's mess him up there. That's rough. He probably I think it might have been smart to save and reload there because he's gonna have to warp again. All right, Zin just got another ruby. I saw he had three. Yeah. Did not see the flint pickup from that uh which is uh so he's halfway on his rubies. There's two, of course, in Yiga, so we'd only need one. Um Nomen, Nomen, Nomen reporting that he has nine flint. Um, so he needs seven more. Thank you, Nomen. Thank you. I'm gonna go see ah uh, yes. Here we go. Let's try. Um Let's see is, this his, is this his Dr. fifth? Ko. This is his fifth, and then he'll probably do the one in Goron City for sixth. Yeah. Would be my guess. Yeah. I have faith in Tapir though. He's probably practiced this BTB enough without stamp food to the point where he can mm -hmm. probably just like Yeah, just do it without worrying about it. It was kinda weird. He he went into bullet time I guess too late and he didn't get a bounce, but I think he got too early or something. Oh my oh, gosh, what is... D-pad issues? Yeah, he had, as he had always. screwed over by his D-pad really hard there. Yeah. It's okay, he'll probably just land here and you can do double wind bombs. Yeah, yeah um, I'm gonna pop up here and do a mid-air. Yeah. Oh, yes, nice, gets a nice rebound yeah. there. And then he'll um, do a mid-air real quick, just, maybe. Yeah. Well, maybe, maybe, not. maybe not. Maybe not. This is indeed might... a long yeah. board. But yeah. these are it's seasoned just... runners, they can handle it's, it. It's true. Both of these are true. Um... Yeah, this is uh, interesting because once Tapir does this, it really comes down to how fast he can get to Kilton. Um, yeah. Because he'll be able to make an Electro Meal really easily. He can just pick up a Volt Fruit anywhere in, in Gerudo. I mean, you say um, once he does this, 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 he's probably still, you know, at 15 oh, minutes out from yeah, actually yeah, totally beating I mean, Naboris. Yeah, Naboris is a lot. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if Tepe went for Ruta. He has the great Eagle Bow. He has like mm -hmm. a lot of things. He needs to go to Garuda anyway, so it's a really easy like Shock Arrow pick up. And Ruta's on the way to Kelton, so Oh you're saying I mean, ignore I... Oh interesting. Ignore Naboris. Yeah. Yeah. That's and just... a really interesting idea. That's... I think that might be faster. But getting Kataka suggests that he's not He's probably yeah. just gonna go with Naboris. Yeah. I mean, again, I'll I think this go... is a case of stick with what you know, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. This this yeah. seems to be Tapir's play. I don't think, mm -hmm. I don't think doing the two divine beasts is objectively the fastest. But if you're going with a stick with what you know kind of strategy, I think it mm -hmm. makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Um, I mean, like, and so there's nothing from Naboris that would make Ruta easier, right? Like in all dungeons. You don't uh, use Furies. No. You don't, yeah, so... Yeah, Ruta's probably... Maybe you just didn't think of it, but... Mm -hmm. I would probably go for Ruta. I mean, we'll, we'll see. I know uh, how it's yeah. feeling. I mean, I guess... I don't know about it. Yeah. I mean, I understand why he'd want to do that. I mean, and it's 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 what you would... Most people would probably do. It just It's like, well, I, I gotta go into Gerudo anyways, right? Yeah. So it's like, I might as well just be doing Naboris if I'm gonna be going right. to get Secret mm -hmm. Club Secret. So it's... Kind of just the default two that you would think to do on this kind of board. I don't yeah, know. I guess, yeah. I, it is a lot of movement, like going into Zora and then doing the fish. The fish drama is a little bit of the time. Drama, yeah, it takes a while. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see, to see the difference uh, between the two in terms of timing. But pure getting. Do you think it is faster to do it? But yeah, maybe not by that much because of the drama, but. It's really like similar to all dungeons router. So gets another Pure ruby. Very yeah. set on uh <laughs> nice, alright. So that that means he's at four rubies. Flash in the flint, he's at nine flint. Oh, is he showing us that he didn't get any on that last talent? I guess he I guess he didn't. Right, because he still needs seven more. Wow, that is like seven more. That's really unlucky, <laughs> especially if they have higher drop rates. That's crazy. I mean, he managed to get three off another one. 
Yeah. I don't know what your expected are. Maybe maybe the three was particularly high and mm -hmm. zero is just as likely. I suppose. I mean, it's uh, that's the risk for going for Ruby Circlet, though, right? I mean, yeah, you're, you're, you're leaving you're a bunch of stuff up the end of RNG. RNG. There's really no guaranteed way to get Flint. This is also the the bingo tournament, so RNG is going to be even worse than normal. So you know, there's yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Unless, unless Tapir, uh, or sorry, unless Dimpar has uh, prayed to the RNG gods right before the match and all of last night, it's uh, <laughs> a given that he was going to get bad RNG no matter yeah. what. That just makes your RNG worse, though, so. <laughs> <laughs> Don't yeah, insult do them by expecting special <laughs> treatment. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Tapir, doing, uh, doing our VR super. Get his, yep. uh, go get those clothes. In order to get into Gerudo. Yeah. Oh. So I actually I'm curious. We we talk about is Secret Club Secret. What does it take to actually get the side quest? Because they uh, need the side quest to not to just yeah. go to the door. Yeah. You, just, you can just go to the door. I'll be like, what's the, what's the password, and then you get it. Yeah. Uh, pretty okay. Much. It's it's one of the very few side quests in Gerudo Town um, that don't require any kind of quest progression regarding Naboris or anything like that. Yeah. You don't right. even have to like talk to Riju. I think it's one of the only quests like that. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. really nice. That last Elden Shrine there done for Zin. I wouldn't be surprised yep. if he attempts one more Igneo Talus. I think there's one across the lava field that he's right next to. Um, yeah. Before. Heading off to wherever else he thinks he can get the get the flint he needs. There are a Ooh. lot of ore deposits like on the way to Gerudo if you're like coming from say Cryos. Um so yeah. you could could uh resort to to mining, which it looks like he's going to. Oh yeah, he's um, actually not gonna go attempt yeah. another Igneotalus. So probably probably worth noting, uh you do have to like get two fairies as well. So you do need a bit more rupees for that. This is he's true. He, he's he got, loaded on it, rupees though. All the tokens yeah. and stuff. He has the one in pack. The, yeah. the one fairy in pack. Mm -hmm. So it's oh Ooh. Oh, no. oh just warps. Yeah, makes sense. Not a bad yeah. idea. Alright, well um, it does look like he's he warped to Cryonis and so um getting some up. He's taking a pause Keep real up. quick to open up uh, <laughs> up the ore deposits on object map, probably. <laughs> <laughs> true, and now true. He's on his way. Um, Internet, very good tool. Yes. Yep. Yeah, there Our is a runners patch. are of course allowed any resources, any online resources that they want in order to yep. do their routing. Except for other people, you can't just like rely on other people. That's no. But yeah, pretty much anything goes. Oh, right. and nobody's getting some ore here next to Juluna. Big opal, big amber. Another oh, big more. opal. <laughs> Two oh, more man. amber. Wow, great he didn't Miss a flint. Oh, there was there was did. one oh, flint there that he nearly I missed. I was I, I didn't see that. <laughs> Yes, yeah, like uh, I saw like... it, but I assumed he had two, and so I was confused. Mm. And I walked away. <laughs> so that would have been awful. Club secret. Mm -hmm. Uh. Oh no, oh no, to fear, no. You have to actually talk to the people like inside the club. Very good to fish checking. But yeah, no, you have to go, you have to like walk a tiny bit inside the club and then they're like, oh, hi. All right, yeah, he gets it. All right, cool. Yeah, All right. he's got the quest now. Nice. Gets Excellent. Another so to peer. Let's see if, what to pick us for. Objective. All right, Zimpars needs four flint and one ruby. Oh, did he manage to get another ruby drop from? I think so. He's at five right now. Excellent. Oh. All right. So that okay, means he could do... um. Select he could real. do a uh, a Yiga clan clip without having to deal with anybody. Mm -hmm. He'd just have to warp out because the door wouldn't be there to um, true, let true. him back out. But yeah, it's just doing two divine beasts. Yes, Tapir is doing two Divine Beasts. He has already completed Meadow um, and is yeah. going to do Naboris right now. Yeah, he's going to do Naboris, pretty much. Unless he debates us and, like, I doubt it. 
once you get the cutscene, you probably don't wanna, don't wanna go do fish drama or whatever. Mm, he's committed at this point. Yeah, he's. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that rare ore was not worth anything. <laughs> you didn't even get, you didn't get like any good gems either. That was like the worst. Oh, oh, the midair there for uh, so Zin. <laughs> still has Just one trying to defuse his bombs. Uh, curious to see. You will just need to talk to somebody to sell all of the um, all of the other gems he has. In order to... Oh, there's a free font there, oh, apparently. There. People G? I did not know there's... Like, I didn't <laughs> think there would be rent. <laughs> got to know where all the around. guaranteed flint is. All right, yeah. so let's see. He's got 13 and 5, so he needs one more ruby, three more flint, and then, of course, he's got to sell all the rest of these to pay off a great fairy. I'm um, gonna buy the yeah, great clothes and such. I mean, he's, he he's more than set on money. that. Yeah, he's he needs five hundred for all. the great fairy and six hundred for the um for the clothes. So you see, Tapir warp back to Katakar, planning to go fight Koga. Ooh, rough wind bomb there for Zin. It's, uh, it's one of those areas where. And bombing can be kind of hard. It's like rocks everywhere. The see the Yiga hideout now. Um, yeah, very easy clip. Oh, come on, Z2, oh, why'd you have to uh, say anything? <laughs> right, nah, he gets a second try. <laughs> That's one of those clips that, like, you don't even have to unequip shield. You can sometimes just, like, bonk in through the wall. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty easy clip. The first time I ever attempted it was in a bingo, and I was not able to get it because I wasn't looking at any references on how to do it. <laughs> so we're going to see some mashes. I'm going to go through Koga, Resident yep. Saliba. Yeah, Koga talks a lot. That's honestly the <laughs> hardest part about him. It's... <laughs> Dealing with the time loss perfect. of having to talk to him. Yeah, getting those frame perfect don't fall asleep while mashing. Mm -hmm. uh, Zin gets a cutscene. Oh, yo, we got double cutscene. Yo. Hi, Octane oh. Gameplay. <laughs> Both of them playing in English. Interesting yep. choice. They'll take the time off yeah. in the cutscenes because they want to be able to actually read. Yeah, probably a good idea for the bingo of Nona. I wonder what the optimal bingo language is. Like, given the really frequency of cutscenes yeah. you see. Yeah, because it's you're not going to know ahead of time. I guess I guess during the routing phase, you could change your language based off that, of the route that you plan on doing. True. <laughs> like if you know you're going to be doing like an all dungeons <laughs> routing, you can switch to what is it, Italian? Or is it yeah. Italian for for all dungeons? Yeah, and German if you know if you're, you're gonna doing be... all main quests. Yeah, and then like if you know you're gonna be like just doing like camera or something, you can you can switch mm -hmm. to. Mm -hmm. I think it's French for like best ending. Is it or I forget now? But it's pretty hey, if sweaty. You do it with zero time loss, then I think it'd be worth it. I mean, yeah. worth it being relative. Obviously, no one's <laughs> doing that. If you know you're doing the labyrinths, you go change to English because I think that's what makes all shrines. Um, yeah. Do English. Yeah. I mean, the labyrinth that, I know. Scenes. I know that uh, some people in Bingo before have gotten one of the diaries, and they were in French, and they didn't know which diary they had to get, and it was a, it was a whole ordeal. So, that is another <laughs> downside to, uh, to, like, not going with English. I know it's probably just safe to go with English. Mm. I it's mean, yes, like the, the, the real thing is that it. going with English, or at least a language you can read, means <laughs> yeah. that if you encounter a quest that you don't know that well, you can get instructions on it. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I mean if, is... if Eventide's on the board, I mean, you gotta switch to Japanese if you're trying to do Eventide quick. <laughs> just saying. That's not true. You can actually, there's like three languages that actually all work for Eventide. They're the same, oh. but obviously you're gonna I know. That. 
I know someone's made like a like a code thing. Uh, it's in the pin somewhere, but you can yeah, like figure I mean, out which is the fastest language for what whatever category. So I guess you could use that, but it's yeah. kind of like I know it's, it's kind of bit. It's a nice tool. I've, I've used it. You pick the cutscenes yeah. that you plan on watching. So mm -hmm. like. It has some predefined ones, like, like you know, are you going to be doing all dungeons, yada, 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 and it, like, picks it for you, but you can literally pick all the cutscenes you plan on watching, and then it will tell you, it will calculate which ones, the what, what language will be the fastest. It's really handy. Wow. I'd rather that is pretty cool. Not do that for you could do it though. for, uh, for yeah, bingo yeah, if you really yeah. wanted to. Yeah, yeah I mean... I... Uh, I mean, in this in this tournament, you definitely could, because, I mean, you have the time to do it during the routing phase, oh, and you gosh. have the time to restart. It's obviously... Oh my like, god. Super try hard and not necessary <laughs> at all. And like in no way are you probably going to need to save those, you know, 30 seconds or whatever. Mm -hmm. Not even probably. Yeah. <laughs> I mean the other thing you could do is just you could you could tune it for yourself, right? See what frequency you watch different cutscenes at in your bingos and just be like, oh, my god. Uh, on average, I watch. On average, most optimal language is this one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is what happens when both both people are like watching cutscenes. We talk about language difference. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Tapir gets the what is... Wait, did T Tapir? What is going on here? I think he, he just worked back to Plateau. To yeah, he might just be going to rush Kilton. Yeah. Ah, uh, is he going to Kilton before, before actually doing Naboris? Maybe. That's Maybe. what it looks like. I think interesting I'm gonna choice. To. I don't know if there's a big uh, have to go for difference now. there. He's definitely not doing Ruta at this point. He decided to go do the Yiga it's clan. Been, yeah, no, cool. he's way, way too committed. But yeah. Uh, good luck with the friends. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Oh, I didn't, Z2 I didn't dip on us. Yeah, yeah he, all he, right. he cool, cool. to go. I didn't realize that's what he was saying. But it's all right. It looks like Zinpars is pretty close to closing this one out he still does need one more great fairy after he gets all of his materials do you think he's gonna go for the one in gerudo i feel like probably he doesn't uh i don't know maybe is the is one of the elden shrines that he did close to the the one in akala mm, yeah kind of there's a like moaki near the the foothill stable like I think there's some uh, MSR movement that kind of goes in that direction for Moakit, mm -hmm. which would it wouldn't be too bad, I don't think. Um, he might be doing that right now. Maybe he might like. I mean, he's obviously just trying to get the rest of his foot and stuff, but yeah, he might be trying Is to like kind of work specific his way he's over. going towards, or I no, just these I, I think he here. Just, yeah, I think he just knows these ones. I know a lot of people go for these ones and in, bingos in because they're just right next to Kakariko. Yeah, that's true. Um, there's, oh, a there's a plan. Ooh, there's another one. one. Uh, so wait, at, he needs one wait, more. He just, just need one he already, more. Oh, because he already he did the. He got the free ruby circlet. Yeah, that makes sense. Worth doing that because he had enough while he was already in Gerudo. Yeah, um, and now he just needs. One more? Did, is he set on yeah, rubies? I think he just needs one more. Yeah. I, uh, he might need one more ruby. I didn't actually see his count because I don't think he went to uh, the Yu clan hideout. Yeah, I don't. I didn't see him do that. I think that would have been fairly obvious because he, he didn't take a route by Katakar that would make it easy for him to warp to the Yu clan yeah. hideout. I know there's some BTBs from, from like Gerudo up there, but uh, mm -hmm. I don't think those are super uh rehearsed or practiced by most bingo players yeah actually i think from a quick glimpse there it looks like he's still only at five okay looks like tapir setting up a btb to a column Do think it would have to take some exceptionally bad luck here for Zin to not manage Zin would to get have the to, last two resources. Zin would have to basically break every ore deposit 
on this side of the map and not get what he needs in order for it to appear to be able to both go talk to Kilton There's and Flint. finish the bonus. So he's now just searching for a ruby. Um, Ooh, his hammer well, broke. Hammer just broke. It's two hammers now. <laughs> go through a lot of hammers when you're looking <laughs> for this thinking, much ore. He he's thinking about going back to, uh, to uh, Stasis okay, to wait. get another hammer. He just went to Gerudo. Um, I wonder where... There are still a decent number of yes. ore deposits I think he missed in Gerudo, so it makes mm -hmm. sense. But I feel like there's got to be some, like, more along the way to a fairy fountain. Maybe there's some here that he's heading towards, but no, he's... Going away from the fairy fountain. Might he now be going to uh, Yuga Hideout? Maybe. Maybe just to try and get that guaranteed one, not mess with the uh, RNG aspect of it. Yeah, I mean, banking on Flint from ore deposits, it's it's doable, but. I think it's, he's set. Uh, he just needs the ruby, right? So yeah, it's like banking on a ruby from ore deposits is definitely really risky because like you could get you could just get really unlucky and just only get like sapphires and topazes, right? So mm -hmm. um, going for a guaranteed, but I don't know. This movement suggests he might just be going for more ore deposits. I'm not sure. Tapir going for the moblin BTB from uh, Zora's domain. That was a weird interaction Pierce there. struggled a little bit with his BTB setups today, unfortunately. That, that was super bizarre, though. Did you see that? Like, he swung and slid down the hill because it pushed him just far enough onto the steep part. Ooh, yeah. Oh, the mob on freezes. Zin uh, going for something under this pile of rocks here. Oh, is this a guaranteed ruby? Is, is that what it? he's going for? Yeah. It is. So oh, wow. Smart. Okay. That's he it. Looked it up. So yeah, he's gonna go. Uh, you need an additional fairy fountain, don't you? Yeah, I mean he'll he'll. I don't think he did his first upgrade yet, so he's gonna go to CAC first, get that one, and then. You don't need to do that at separate fairy fountains. He just needs to unlock the two before he can. Uh, are you sure? I thought you had to do it at separate ones. Nope, you definitely do not. <laughs> oh, I didn't know definitely, that. I... Yeah. I assumed you had to, had to be like each one had to be unique. That's kind of nope. cool. That's interesting routing then. For if paid this one, that makes sense. So he needs to pay it, but then oh. he'll go to the other one and pay it. He's not going to do the upgrade here until he um he, he pays has... for the second one. Gotcha. Yeah, because I know Hundo right has to upgrade a bunch of armor at the end and they all just do it at the final fairy fountain that they're at um gotcha gotcha <laughs> upgrade seven pieces of armor to level four right at the end there and it takes you like quite a bit of mashers this is one line custom i wouldn't really yeah. call this uh i mean i mean i guess you could call it a normal it could be a really hard normal <laughs> <laughs> But I guess I think I don't know. I think most people would look at this board and assume it's a long. Yeah. Unfortunately, De Piers Moblin died, so he's gonna opt to win bomb. Mm -hmm. Getting into Akala is very frustrating in Bingo. Yeah. Um. That that really was the risk he was taking on on this row. Um, or this column. Is that? Kilton was entirely in the opposite side of the map from the mandatory quest. This All right, is a it really looks like cool spot to win bomb from, though, mm -hmm. for Beer. <laughs> <laughs> Zin's gonna do the uh, the Gerudo Fairy Fountain, given where he just warped to. Let's see if he can hit the super on the way out of uh, Gerudo Town. It's not an easy one to hit.
Looks Jana like the opting peers. for yeah. a for a BTB off of that uh Zolfos there. Oh, it noticed him. What? Yeah, I think because it's raining, this BTB setup when it's raining is super super jank. Um, Weird. He's only ever done just, it in non time of day categories, so he's opting to just YOLO the <laughs> crap out of this. <laughs> A little nudge gets him a little closer. <laughs> if he hits this, he'll be nuts. <laughs> There's, the animation that he's in right now is super weird, I feel like, to jump off of, too. Yeah. He's going to hit something, though. I don't think that's the uh, direction that, he really no, wants that, to go. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh. A for effort. I'm trying it. Wow, look at that. He, uh, already, he already went back. That's so interesting. But uh, Zin, Zin would have to get very lost in this sandstorm at this point <laughs> to uh, to not get the fairy fountain in time. Yeah, dude, this little oh, that Lazelfos just broke oh. Pierre's ankles. He just dodged two two ice arrows and then gave him the old lunge. But yeah, that's that's basically GG. Yeah. Just have to wait for the uh the cutscene to play and to upgrade the Ruby Circle to two star and uh Sinpars will seal the deal here. Mm-hmm. Ooh, yeeting that out of duality and frustration. Where did he even come back to? Um did he load an older save? The heck? Yeah, I don't know. Because there's no way this was his auto save. He went so far. He had to have had something. Weird. Yeah. Oh. Aw. Oh. GG. GG to Pierre. Tough board. Obviously. Good stuff to both runners though. It's uh excellent, excellent job. Yeah. Let's see if we can get our runners in here for an interview. Absolutely. Welcome, Zimpars. Welcome to Pierre. Welcome Pier. to Pierre. GG. Hello. GG to both of you. That was. <laughs> what what were your what were your thoughts on the board? I honestly I didn't look at too many things off the board because I saw the Ruby Circlet and Elden quote unquote synergy because it was actually really disappointing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like last time I killed Igneo Talos just for fun. They each drop like five flint. I was like, whoa, that's perfect for um, any Ruby Circuit or whatever quests. So I was like, hey, I'm going to do that. <laughs> and yeah, turned out it was not quite so. I yeah. guess I was, either I was really unlucky this time or I was really lucky last time. Yeah, I mean, you did get three from that first one, right? But the fact that you got zero flint from one is, I think that's just unlucky. Yeah, it was kind of frustrating, but I got lucky on ores later, I think. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Jupier, what were your thoughts on the board? Um, I don't know much of the stuff on the board. I was originally going to do row four, then I realized it said helm, and I wanted to cry. Oh, no. The uh, helm is 2,000 rupees. That is a steep, steep yeah. price. I also thought Garuda's secret needed uh, 800 rupees to do for some reason. So I was grabbing more than I needed. Uh, I see. Oh, yeah, it's just 600 for the close, right? That's really all you yeah. need. Yeah, I thought you needed like 800 for entry as well. So I was like, oh shit, I need a bunch of stuff. And it's like, wait, no. Oh, gotcha. Well, I also still have 1k rupees left if that <laughs> is of any comfort to you. Yeah, you didn't really have to worry yes. about rupees considering <laughs> you were going to be farming for, for Flint. You're probably going to get a lot of extra ores like that. Yeah. Oh, then all my BTBs to a call if failed are so sad. Yeah, yeah, you had some rough time with BTBs today. Both the one two Rito and uh 
and then trying to get yeah. to Akala. I have a pretty cool Moblin beat to be off of there. That gets me over Zora's domain. Oh. Nice. But, and then there's that Lazalfos that if it's not raining, you can get one directly to the Spring of Power. Mm. Yeah, the rain really ruins that BTB. It's super annoying. Yeah, so I was it's, wondering it, if I could like. It's bizarre how anything. the rain causes him to notice you more. I think, I think it's because it, like when like because you have to shoot two arrows there, otherwise like you won't hear the closer one. Mm -hmm. and then since you're shooting it so close to him, that's what he notices or something. I don't oh, know. I see. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, BTBs weren't my friend today. I don't think a single no no the monkey percent one worked. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, that's yeah, how you get so fast to far out. Yeah, <laughs> I'm wondering. <laughs> that, that was the only one that worked really. Seen that BTB a lot now that uh in bingos. I guess it's it's kind of gonna become a become a part of bingos. Yeah, your I mean, monkey percent BTB. <laughs> Temple of Time BTBs in general are really powerful in bingo, right? I mean, they, they mm. really just kind of kickstart your your line because you can go. From Temple of Time, you can go to like Farron, Kakariko, Kaiwan, Castle, left of Castle, um, towards like two rings. You can land at two rings if you know like the bread percent PTV. And then you can also go to like Gerudo. Mm -hmm. um, uh. So it's just a really, really powerful movement option to have at your disposal if you know all the setups. That's true. That's true. And I mean, I, all of my all the ones that I do are from the, the the top of Temple of Time, like the very top, like where you do like Castle BTB. I know some people drop down to do like on like the little lip with the little ledge, like just below that. Um, but I, I think having them all at the top just makes it so that way you can be like fairly consistent with all of them because they're all more or less just like small movements or variations of like where to aim and shoot and stand. But obviously, do whatever setup works for you. Um, but yeah, no. That that Boko I'm, man, he's uh he's used a lot. <laughs> I'm kind of mad that I sold the rupee that I got at the start. I guess like I just got it for money, and I forgot that that could actually be used for the goal. I didn't see you sell oh, that. We didn't even didn't... see you sell that. Oh. Yeah, wow. yeah. I only realized at the end where, where, when I was looking for a rupee desperately. I was like, oh <laughs> god, I saw the one at the start. I can't believe you sold that. <laughs> There is a tote. Wait, wait, did you sell it in CAC? Yeah. You could, you could have just got the topaz in the chest. Yeah, too. yeah. Oh, or even man. the opal in oh, next yeah. to the pond. Yeah. We oh, were wondering yeah. if you were going to go into the Yiga hideout at all, because there's two guaranteed rubies there. Oh. Uh, if, you, if you'd been willing to... Well, one of them's easy, because one of them's mm -hmm. just in the end room. But then the other one, if you were willing to brave getting through the Yiga... Uh, you, yeah, you I'd rather not. There. <laughs> <laughs> also, once I got to the stable, um, get to the cannon stable, I realized that there's a ruby behind me. I was like, should mm, I turn yeah. around or no? And then I didn't. And then later on, I still went back all the way there. Yeah, that was yeah. really smart, I think. Going for those kind of like, and you, you picked up some guaranteed flint, you know, a couple times, like one the one on Platt and the one by the, mm -hmm. the Gerudo Canyon stable. Going for those kind of guaranteed drops like for flint and rubies in a, in a in a line like this that relies kind of a lot on rng to get that much material um i think is really smart yeah usually if for flint i go too far on because there's like four or five flint in guaranteed chests mm. but i thought this would be a good opportunity to do the igneo method but yeah I, i'm not sure if i'm gonna go for that again maybe i was unlucky yeah it, i mean it's yeah it was a risk. I think it was a calculated risk. Mm -hmm. You did you did pass by a lot of uh ore deposits though that I think you should have you should have hit. For, yeah, for probably. There was like six at Namaka Oz that you could have hit and you probably would have got at least a couple more flint from there and maybe even a ruby. Yeah. But... I actually thought that I would be fine on flint anyway. <laughs> and rubies after the talus, but yeah, no. Should have uh, be, been a bit more safe. Yeah. Also, I wanted to pick up the sledgehammer at the stable. I, like, I looked at it while I was talking to the elixir lady, and then I just forgot. <laughs> mm, yes, yeah. the, that one fight there where your hammer broke. Yeah. Uh, I think that was a wise bomb reload. arrow. Was, oh, uh... <laughs> we don't bomb talk about and, that. <laughs> the bomb arrow in Elden to launch you into the lava pool. <laughs> I was like, fair, what is mules... the most damage to a talus? I said, I literally said, I was like, 
I was like, oh, you should just switch to his bomb arrows if his hammer broke. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had both his ECW and Crazy were like, no, no, not Nelson. And then you did it. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, it was good entertainment, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, you didn't die. You still, it was only a void out, though. I thought you were going to keep going, but I think the reload was a good choice because that way you have to keep all your resources and stuff. I also wanted to keep a fairy for one of the shrines, but I only took quarter damage from that. Yeah. You never you never want to use your last fairy. You always want to keep mm. it just in case some, something one? terrible happens. No, I, I don't have one anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I also didn't realize that you need two fairies for that. Oh, oh. yeah. Yeah, because of the two star. Yeah, I would have done the, the routing a bit differently, I guess, if I need if I knew that earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's definitely but, something you need to keep in mind. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, and luckily, I, from you to pee. sorry, go ahead. Luckily, then. I grabbed like most of the shrines, so I had a lot of warp spots. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was gonna say, Tapir, any thoughts on what you would have done differently in retrospect? Hmm. Mm. No, I think you're really to just play better, honestly. Because I I, I wasted fair. like ten minutes on that stupid BTB at Coliseum, nah. and then obviously the bad BTBs in Rito. I don't think it would have been faster than Zen. It would have been close though if I played like really well. But I'm sure Zen also had his hiccups too. So yeah, it makes sense. I think your strategy of, you know, like to have the two divine beast main quests as your hard thing, but something you very much know how to do is a pretty sound one, uh, particularly for this board. Um, I, I think I, uh, I don't know if it would have been better to do Zora's domain instead of Naboris. Yeah, Z2W brought that up. Um, like, I was contemplating that, but I already, yeah. like, wasted all my fire arrows on fucking Kotikar, and I was like, whatever. Yeah. That makes sense. That was the only thing that I was contemplating that entire time, was, should I do Zora's? Which I maybe should have, but after seeing those BTPs that I did, one went directly to Castle instead of fucking Dakota's, and then those Zolfos <laughs> sent me right, I'm like, okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been slow either way, so. Yeah. This was uh, actually not our longest board. I think Tay and Apple have finished in like an hour five, I want to say. If I remember yeah, it was something just it. over an hour, but I do think it was longer than this one. Yeah, which I was... Yeah, it was also very tough. I was surprised. I thought this board was going to take longer for sure. I mean, if you're just looking at them, I think most people would bet that this one would have taken longer. Um, but oh. I mean, they're about the same length. I mean, it's only a few minutes apart. But yeah, these, these two boards definitely, I think... Uh, stepped it up in terms of difficulty i'm curious did you have a line that would be the best mules or or any of the commentators actually um well for this one i actually did the line you did zin um, that I, was in, the first in, one i called out i'm okay. very curious if it would work process. out with the can tell us i think yeah Z2W did row four, or sorry, column four in testing. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, Vivo pointed out it's 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 so hard to say, right? Unless you do unless you do every line on these boards and actually time them, it's so hard to just speculate. But mm. Vivo pointed out row five has some really good synergy um, with Kilton and Barbarian Helm both being in the top right together, and you can get a great fairy on the way. Um, Twenty monsters. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's it's that really just comes down to like, if, do you know? Like, I I agree. I hate twenty monsters. I, the last time I did twenty monsters, I lost because I couldn't find them fast enough. But Z2W <laughs> was saying like, no, it's not that bad. You know, you get your Bokos or your Moblins near Hateno, and then you go to Namaka Oz, and you can get six or seven from three different types of Wizards and three different types of Choo Choo's. And then there's also Keys there if you can snap a picture of Keys. So oh, yeah, night time does play a big thing there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then once and then you know you could get the Boko stall kids and then you could get a, maybe a boss or two along the way. It's definitely doable. I mean, obviously it's out of all of the compendium goals, I think it's like undoubtedly the hardest, but um because monsters are a lot more uh spread out and rare than they are 
creatures in my opinion especially mm -hmm. like in a tunnel sure. right there's like 10 creatures in a tunnel basically but yeah um yeah no that's a think... that's a scary goal mm -hmm. i do think row three um or column four were also pretty interesting that's actually what we first thought you might be doing when you went to Farron uh to pier row three with the rubber helm and like you know there's you know kukanada right there for your shrine quest and stuff um if I'm being honest, I, I don't know any shrine quests besides flower and the rings. Makes sense. That's so. yeah, that's understandable. <laughs> I I didn't know uh, those are my two shrine quests that that basically I those are like the only two I knew um, before actually making all these bingo boards and then through making these bingo boards, I've learned a bunch from CGW and watching other people play, and I can now confidently say I know. I think seven at least shrine quests um there are like 42 of them total yeah like, it's there's kind of ridiculous yeah <laughs> um, but like in terms of the the ones that i would have done if i was going to do these that row in particular row three it would have been uh flower two rings um the crown beast whatever that one's called outside of kakariko where you ride the deer mm -hmm. um song of storms uh the 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 landscape stable whatever that one's called the one by oh, Foothill yeah, Stable. Um, that's five. Uh, and then I probably would have done the rest in Gerudo just because of the way this board laid out, right? With Secret Club Secret. I would have done the Labyrinth Shrine for six, seven hero wins for seven, and then the uh, Secret of the there's Silent Swordswoman, the one with the in the storm where she's pointing mm -hmm. around or whatever. That one would have probably would have been my eighth. Um, yeah. yeah. Looking, so, looking at it now, row three might actually be the best one, especially with the Garuda synergy. Yeah, but you know it's so hard to see that. You get we up the the routing time from five to ten minutes in semifinals, but I mean those ten minutes I would imagine feel like they go by just as fast mm -hmm. uh, when looking at a board like this. It's so hard to make those kind of like decisions in terms of which one is going to be the fastest or which one's going to have the most synergy when there's a potential of, you know, 20 lines or whatever there is. Well, not 20 lines, it's like 11, but, um, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, you also focus more on, like, micro-routing once you have your route. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, I I wanted to see where... I thought about which fire weapons I'm going to grab and which shrines, uh, where where the talus are. Yeah. That right. stuff, instead of looking for a different row. Um, yeah, but GG's, um, to Pierre making it to, uh, tied third place. I wasn't really planning on doing a, uh, a third place match, but there's no custom board made for it. But if you and Apple ever want to duke it out, let me know and I could, uh, set that up. Um, GG's again, though, and Zinpars will be moving on to grand finals to base, uh, to Pierre. I mean, sorry, oh, Tay. Take um, Tay Kage. So <laughs> you both move on. <laughs> yeah, much. Um, but yeah, you'll be versing Tay Kage in Grand Finals. That will be a custom made lockout. Um, that Gonna be uh, exciting. Yes, very exciting. Still has yet to be <laughs> tested. <laughs> um, uh -oh. Z2W and I are going to be playing it tonight. Um, and maybe doing some tweaks. We'll see. Fingers crossed it doesn't take us like four hours. Um, shouldn't shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> so I, I I will say it's probably easier to make. We, we, you know during this process of making these boards, you know we've had to, you know dial them up, dial them down, and it's much easier I think to make a board easier than it is to make it harder. I think because making a board harder uh, is challenging without destroying like the balance of like all the other rows. Okay. Um, so also it's lockout. So lockout's also way just just way easier to balance because the order of the, the squares don't matter while in a single line it's like critical. True. Um, so true, yeah. But yeah, um thank you, Crazy and Z2 for uh commentating and thank you, Jason, for restreaming. Um yeah. Yeah, and GG's to both our runners. Excellent job. We don't have any other matches scheduled for the, the day, I believe. Well, I mean, there's only one match left in the tournament. <laughs> True. No, I meant like on Bingo-thon. Ah, uh, yeah. 
Um, so that's it from us. Um, as soon as that match gets scheduled, uh, I'll be sure to advertise it, and it will be very exciting. We're going to be raiding Cobb Champ. Cobbers. Um, be sure to give him some love. I hope you all have a wonderful uh, rest of your day or night, wherever you're at. And yeah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>